All right, guys, thank you for coming back for another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, today, we are going to be doing some boat stuff, if you can see the boat behind me. Um, I am a very, very novice boater. Um, I just got a boat a couple weeks ago, uh, just fixing up little odds and ends, things I don't like with the boat and trailer. And uh, today's video, we're going to be going over transom straps. Okay, so as you guys may already know, transom straps are the straps that go from the back of the boat on the transom down to the trailer to hold down the back of the boat so it doesn't bounce around as you're towing. So as you can see here, my boat is a little maybe oversized for the trailer or the trailer is a little undersized for the boat. Uh, if you can look at that uh, back roller bunker there on where the tail lights are, the boat does stick out, you know, probably a good 10 inches or so uh, past that, uh, past the tail lights. Now what I don't like is if you see the transom straps, transom strap goes all the way under the boat and it hooks onto the back of the boat like that. I'm not a fan of that for numerous reasons. Um, you can see that the original straps that I have are just regular, I guess you would call these cam lock straps. Um, I have had the boat shift on me just a teeny, teeny bit, and I've actually come home and those straps be a little bit loose. First time, uh, this strap was pretty loose, like enough that I could pretty much take the hook off uh, without loosening up the bracket. Uh, the next time, it was just a, uh, just a tid loose um, that, you know, again, I was able to pull it, unhook it, and get it off but i just i don't like that um and i don't like that mounting point so what we're going to do today um i've seen some reviews on these boat buckles um these are essentially like seat belts um they are they have a retracting mechanism and they are actual ratcheting setup um also have some of the boat buckle brackets they have a universal bracket so what i'm going to try and do is i took off the housing around the tail light i'm going to try and get that bracket into this bolt here so that's bringing it forward at least a good six or eight inches i would so i would say and uh maybe that'll make that angle a little bit better uh along the um uh stern of the boot um, that's what I'm hoping at least. I kind of did a quick mock-up and it seemed to be a lot better. It's still not perfect, but it is a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and get that bolt out. That's a three-quarter um, socket to get that out. And uh, we'll pop on one of those brackets and see how everything goes. All right, so I just got back from drilling out these brackets. You can see they're a little chewed up. The original bolt going through the frame is a half-inch bolt. Uh, the bolts that come for the brackets from a uh, boat buckle or three eighths, I think. So um, rather than going with bolts that were too short and then not having this anchored, again, this is anchored by one bolt, so it's okay. But um, I wanted a bolt that would go all the way through. So I just drilled out for this original bolt. Okay, so the way I positioned it is with the long end of the bracket facing back, and I'm gonna angle this up a little bit probably and angle it off like that. And that's probably gonna be about the best angle I'm gonna be able to get on it um, it's straight so where it's not getting kinked um, and then it should still ratchet back uh, go ahead and tighten this and see if it works right all right so I think I got this adjusted pretty good at a pretty good angle uh, we'll go ahead and unlock this uh, actually we'll release it and we'll go up to our transom hook uh, you can see there's a little bit of an angle what catches on the corner, so I probably just got to watch for that. Lift up on this. And that thing is tight. And uh, the angle seems pretty good. Uh, you guys tell me if that is good. Uh, it's better than going back that way, for sure. Uh, so let me know what you guys think on that. I uh, just got to round out the hole a little bit more in that other bracket, get the other one on. And then uh, I'm gonna have to trim this cup. Um, now that that's on there, uh, probably have to notch out that side or cut off that side and slip it down. And uh, probably be back in business soon. All right, so this one I'm actually gonna adjust a little bit differently. I'm gonna cock it a little bit more this way and a little bit more uh, forward. And as you can see, it sits down uh, on the bottom side a little bit more instead of up top of this lip. So I don't have to worry about it getting kind of caught in that corner there. And that seems to work uh, a little bit better and a little bit straighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that one after I tighten this up and uh, just make sure it tightens good. And then that release bracket doesn't get in the way of anything. 
and it's probably a little bit more or a little bit less off to take off of that cup there uh, the other one sits in a little bit more i'm not sure if the boat shifted a little bit um, but basically how these work when they tuck this out of the way uh, you'll see everything is snapped in now you can push on the release lever and that'll unlock it and then undo it here at the boat and hit down and then buckles back up like a seat belt when you want to get it back on do release and it's hard to do one-handed but basically do release you pull it back out and snap it back up all right so now we'll do it two-handed if we can get the camera to stay uh we'll do release pull it up get it in your hook do release again to snap it back down and then you just do pull up on the lever hook hook and right there you'll see i caught the corner which i didn't want to do so we'll release it adjust it and then boom good to go nice and tight and hopefully it shouldn't go anywhere final piece of the puddle puzzle was to notch out that housing um i took out uh this whole side was this long and it was solid i notched out up around here and notched out around the front and now this thing fits nice and snug now you can see the cup piece fits on good and once i uh screw the light back in and get everything snugged up everything will be nice and flush so uh, let's go ahead and do the nuts underneath and get everything flushed up Alright, so this is the final result. I trimmed around the cups a little bit to get uh, the brackets to sit in there or to get the uh, uh, ratchet uh, buckles to sit in there all nice. Try to make it look as factory as possible. Um, this one came out a little bit better. Um, I zipped right through that first shot. Uh, first one took me a little bit more time. Uh, but you can see the end result. Uh, these are cinched down nice and tight uh, again this one kind of shifted a little bit but uh, nonetheless it's still significantly better uh, than what we had so i'm going to go ahead and try and get the boat out on the water today get it off and on the trailer and uh, see how these perform but so far i'm going to give these things a thumbs up these were uh, 85 bucks i think so a little bit expensive for where they are um, but hopefully the uh, ease simplicity and uh, usability of this will uh, make up for the price. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up down below. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if I did something wrong, again, I'm a novice, just kind of going um, by the seat of my pants and using common sense. So uh, there's something you see that you do not agree with, please let me know. Uh, I certainly uh, appreciate the feedback. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.